Hey, do you want to know how you can get free supplies for your home child care? Well, we'll talk about all of it coming up next. Hey guys, welcome to Home Child Care Trainers, your YouTube channel for tips, tricks, and training, all in the area of caring for children. This is your first time, definitely hit the subscribe button. This is your channel to help you start, grow, and succeed as home child care providers. Now, many of you guys have asked me, how do you get your supplies for free? And I'm at Olympia Elementary School today. I'm gonna to be visiting a couple of teachers so that you can see how you can get your free supplies. Teachers are always throwing away stuff at the end of the school year, a lot of glue, um, construction papers, books, all those things sometimes have to go out in order for them to start their summer. So if you have children, make sure you're volunteering and helping the teachers out throughout the year because at the end of the year, they give away a ton of things. You ready to get started? Let's get started. Now these items are all free. And so the office posted sign, they are changing up a lot of their reading programs for their pre-K and their kindergarten in our district. Pre-K is now all a day. Before it was only AM or PM, so now it's all day. And a lot of these books, all of these books are free. Look at them, they're so amazing. They're colorful. They're great for the summertime. Um, and they just have it on the desk and they tell the parents you know, to take it. And obviously this is elementary school. School. So it's going to be from pre-K all the way to fifth grade. Here's a spelling check book. I mean, it's a nice book. Never been written in. You go in the classroom, a lot of the teachers will give you their old posters. So here's a poster that's one through 20, an alphabet chart. And then there's this recyclable sandwich container that the cafeteria workers give away before throwing them away. And you can store things like blocks, like this teacher has blocks that she's storing. Now all these markers will go to the students and then whatever is left over are some parents say, do not send anything home, we get these. So home child care providers can get these too. Here goes construction paper that this teacher is not gonna be using for next year. And again, she's gonna offer it to the students and their families first, but a lot of parents, they just want to start their summertime. They don't want a whole bunch of stuff in their house. And so to other people, it looks like junk. But to us, we're like, yes. Now, they had a lot of this paper throughout the year that the kids would use for painting. Look at this. Stacks and stacks of paper that you can use. And then the line paper. Again, whatever's not sent home, or whatever the parents are saying, no, we don't want, the teachers give them away. So again, make sure you have a good relationship with your kid's teacher. And if not, maybe you have a niece, a nephew, or a neighbor. This teacher has plenty of DVDs. Now, I know a lot of people stream, but guess what? DVDs are awesome too. You saw the Magic School Bus and the Lorax. So these are great books. I love this idea of what they did with the ice cream container. After they washed it out, they put different things in it. And so these are different flashcards that you can use for your daycare provide for your daycare, your home daycare. This teacher used subtraction cards. And again, you can use it for alphabets and colors and all kinds of neat things. All of these containers, the teacher is going to be giving away. This particular teacher is also um, a first grade teacher, but she will be moving to another grade. So a lot of this stuff she does not want want to take with her I think she's going to fifth grade so she's giving away these blocks like how awesome is that to get blocks and this is just one teacher and she's giving away this money this money chart another great thing is these journals now even though you're a home child care provider you know that they um you can use it for your kids to start practicing writing their name. You can use it for free coloring, free art time. She's giving away these books, a lot of clocks. So you can start teaching your kids clock time. Um, it's really up to you. There's so many items. Glue. Oh my gosh. Okay. So with the glue, a lot of, almost all the teachers are going to throw away their old glue bottles. Take the glue, put them in empty containers and use paint brushes when you need them. The borders, I like to take the borders. Also, teachers are taking down borders right now and you can use them for your parent board. So the borders are awesome to use as well. 
Now, like I said earlier, I could go on and on about how much you can get from the teachers. That was just one teacher. Imagine the entire school. And that's why I said in my video, how much does it cost? So make sure you check out the video, how much it costs to start a home child care. I tell you that my entire garage gets full of supplies at the end of school year. As many of you know, some of you who do not know, I'm a single mom of four. So I have four children. Uh, first grade, third grade, and two fifth graders. And so I get so many things. But like I said earlier, please make sure you're volunteering. Make sure you're appreciating your teachers. Don't just show up at the end of the school year. You haven't been to a parent-teacher conference, a PTO, something. I'm not saying you have to be super soccer mom or dad, but do something to show appreciation to your teachers so that you're able to get those items at the end of the year. Most of them, they need help cleaning out their room. And so they'll be more than happy to give you those things. Now, I don't want any of you to come and say oh my god why won't they save those things for next year again every teacher every school is different some teachers do save things for next year but then there are things like construction papers that may have rips and stuff in it that they can give to you old school glue bottles they can give away and so it's it's better to give it to a home child care provider than to throw those things away now they do give them to students and again not every parent wants all that stuff in their house when the school year ends most of the parents just say keep it we don't need it. Um, a lot of the times for me, because I get so many notebooks and get so much, so many things of glue, I will refill glue bottles. I will refill um, construction, go through all the construction, go through all the notebooks to make sure the ones that have, um, especially the composition books. And I will use them for my kids' school supplies for the upcoming school year. Yes, you can do that as well. And so um, that's a way that I'm able to budget and save money when it comes to school supplies. Comment below, if you are a teacher, do you give away things? I know we had a subscriber who said on um, one of my other videos how to start a home child care and how much it costs. She mentioned she's a teacher and she gives away a lot of stuff, books, everything, giving it away. So make sure you comment below. Comment below if you think this is an amazing idea. If this is the first time you've ever heard of this, again, you will get so many free things. So if you're just starting your home child care, make sure you also check out my video that says, when's the best time to open a home child care? I say the best time to open is right before summertime. And then the second option is right before school starts, because these are the two high volume times when people are looking for child care. Well, that is the video that I promised to give you amazing people. Make sure you stay subscribed and hit the alert button because we always have more exciting business videos for home child care for you. This is your home child care channel where we help you to start, grow, and succeed as home child care providers, home child care trainers, tips, tricks, and training all in the area of caring for children.